Hey, I'm Jonathan. Welcome to Rather Be Riffing. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing the PRS 594 solid body with the PRS 594 hollow body version. I'll do several sound comparisons to see what similarities and differences we can hear. I'll also talk about what I consider to be the key trade-offs when choosing between either the solid body or hollow body version. At the end of the video, I'll also do an A-B comparison using both guitars in the context of the opening track. And ultimately, I'm trying to decide whether I think it's worth keeping both versions in the collection. So let's find out. So before we go to the sound samples, let's check out the opening track using the PRS 594 Solid Body. So when it comes to the specs of these two guitars, I'm just gonna cover the key difference, which is really in the construction. The solid body has a mahogany slab with a maple top, whereas the hollow body has a flame maple top, flame maple back, mahogany sides. Otherwise, the hardware, pickups, neck radius, scale length, etc., is all the same. I should mention this is a private stock version. The only main difference there is the fit and finish is a little fancier. Otherwise, both really killer guitars. So let's check out the chords from the opening track. I'm using the middle position and using some light overdrive with a Vemarim Janray and a touch of delay from Achille Halo. So up next, I'm going to play some arpeggiated parts in the upper register to hear how the guitars compare in that scenario. So up next, we're gonna go to the bridge pickup. And I'm very curious to know what differences you're hearing so far. So for me, the differences are very subtle so far. In the hollow body, I'm hearing a little bit more airiness and a little bit more low end warmth and bigness. Whereas the solid body is a little more focused and bright sounding to me. So listen out for that in this next sound sample and let me know what you think. So up next, I'm gonna kick on a Tube Screamer and we're gonna check out all three pickup positions and hear the tonal range of each of the guitars.
for some high gain. We're going bridge pickup. I'm stacking my Vemram Janray with my BK Butler tube driver, and let's have some fun. digging the hollow body in high gain mode. Again, it's a little warmer, a little fuller in the way the guitar reacts while playing it. It feels a little more lively and interactive. I'm guessing if I was in a live scenario where there's real air being pushed by the amp, that that would be even more pronounced than it is here in a silent recording environment. But yeah, really digging the guitar in that scenario. So the time has come to compare both guitars in the context of the opening track. So let's check that out. <laughs> All right, so now that we've finished the sound samples, I wanted to offer my point of view as to what I think some of the key trade-offs are when choosing between the solid body 594 and the hollow body version. So what I love about the hollow body is really it comes down to the ergonomics and the feel. I was surprised how similar the guitars sounded amplified, especially compared to how different they sounded unplugged. <laughs> So they really sound night and day different acoustically in my opinion, but amplified again, a lot of those differences aren't noticeable, but I do think you still hear some key differences. I found that the hollow body was a little warmer, had a little bit more low end, whereas the solid body was a touch brighter and had more focus. Real subtle differences there, but based on the sound samples, hopefully that gives you a clear picture as to what to expect the sonic differences to be between the two guitars. For me, the bigger difference actually came down to the ergonomics. The hollow body is much lighter, so if you prefer lighter guitars, this might be a better choice for you. Also, I found that the hollow body is a bit more interactive when you play it. And what I mean by that is you can really feel it vibrating as you play, and I really enjoy that experience. Otherwise, both these 594s are killer guitars in my opinion. Very subtle differences sonically, but they're there. Ultimately, if you're looking for a lighter, more ergonomic guitar, the hollow body might be a better fit for you. If you're looking for a bit more focus and brightness, the solid body might be a better fit for you. All right, so as to whether I should keep both versions in the collection, this guitar is not for sale. It's on loan. It's my father's guitar. So as much as I bonded with it, already having a 594 in the collection, it would be hard for me to justify the second one. However, if I do come across something special in the wild, I may just be tempted, so never say never. So while I have the hollow body in my possession, there's some other shootouts I was thinking of doing. I do have a 335 style guitar, which might make an interesting comparison, so let me know if you're interested in that. And I also have access to a 594 core model and a 594 SE model. So I may go a bit deeper on the 594 journey. It might be cool to compare private stock, core, SE, and hollow bodies. So let me know if there's any particular combination there that you'd be most interested in. All right, so that wraps it up. I'm really curious to know which guitar you preferred and why. Also, let me know which 594 comparison you'd be most interested in seeing next. In the meantime, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.